My name's Pen USB Mike. I'm a pixel artist animator. I've worked on games like Dome Keeper and Shogun Showdown. I'm currently working on my own solo project called Bullet Bunny. And I want to share with you three A Sprite extensions or scripts that greatly improve your workflow. The first one here is Isometric Box Generator, and it's by Dark Work on Itch. I believe their name is Cam on on Twitter, but what it does is auto generates a box in this isometric style and it's super quick and you should definitely use it if you don't. I see a lot of artists just hand pixeling it. Let me just show you how quick. So I, I don't do isometric too much. So this was kind of just a test kind of picture I did, but look at this. You start off and I'll just open it up here. Isometric box. You can just start off with something like free height, um, go to the right. 20 left 20 let's let's try that and what it does is it just adds a box like that adds its own layer so you can use your move tool and just move it around um, you can set up the colors here you got the top left right highlight um, everything and it makes its own own layer so you can see here all the cubes I made for this little box and you can go ahead and just just keep doing that. Now, if you want a wall, you're gonna make the height, let's do 20, and you're gonna want the right side high. And this one, let's do two. Um, and you can add that, you can, you can double the height there, so let's just undo that. Let's do 40, one, and then you got your wall back here. A little thick, but you can easily make that one pixel wide. This would take you, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes. And it just took me a whole 20 seconds to do. And then if you want the other side, you know, apply that to two, slide this one up to 20, and boom. You have your wall and you just need to line them up properly. Just like that, you can make a whole scene. And you can see here, you can see I use the floor one, the walls, um, this little air conditioner thing, this shelf, um, that's eventually the bed, a dresser, um, gas can, a little coat hanger tower. And then you can just like use it as a guideline and get your colors and just keep adding to it. And this whole scene took maybe less than 30 minutes in the end. So that's the isometric box generator by Dark Work on Itch. Um, I'll post the link in the description for you guys. And the second one to improve your workflow, the script for exporting tags to different sprite sheets. So say you have a sprite like this, and you have one, two, three, four, you know, 10, 15, different animations, different tags. Um, what you can do is, let's just turn off the background, um, the title, and we'll just, trim this all. Now we just got the animation with no background. You can go up to scripts, just click on export tags to different sprite sh sheets. So as long as you have your tag set up, it will bring up this and you can see here you have the idle front, idle side, run, jump, fall, dash, orb, shield, up, down, hold, shockwave, hit, and death. You have all these as different sprite sheets and depending on what engine you're using, it um, has its benefits, but I like to offer both if I'm doing commissions or working for someone and I used to export them one by one, which was kind of time consuming, but now it, it's super quick. And this one is, I'll have a link for it. It's on GitHub. Um, here's a pack of a bunch of scripts and it's this one right here, export tags to different sprite sheets. And you'll just copy that into your A Sprite script folder and refresh it or restart A Sprite, and it should be there. And then the last, but not least, is the background auto scroll toolbar by Cards Code. And this one, what this one does, it um, animates, say, if you have landscape photo. Let's just set this up quick. Let's say you have the ground here, and this will be very rough. And behind it, let's say you have some some clouds or sky, the sky at the bottom, and then we'll do some clouds. Try to make it as pretty as I can quickly. And as long as these these sides line up, so what we can do here is go to tab mode on X, and you can just 
We know that. As long as that's smooth, um, it connected, you can work your magic with this script. So let's do some clouds, um, and we'll do, let's just do whatever, buildings, quick buildings. And what we can do now is run the script to building um, clouds. We'll just animate these two. Link these all, unlink and delete the building and clouds. Um, we're gonna run the script, CG auto scroll toolbar, and we'll do it for do 24 since the run animation is eight, so just three times. We'll do it to the right, and then we'll go up to the building and we'll run this as well. Let's do this one 12 so they're at different speeds. And then we can copy and paste this, like so. Make sure your sky and everything's good. Copy and paste the run. And you can see it auto scrolls the clouds in the buildings. And we can adjust those. You know, if you want the building slower, you can go, let's do 48, I think would be good. 48, do that to the right side, and then you just need to copy and paste those other ones. You get this cool effect, but instead of manually doing it hand by hand, you um, just have this nice parallax. And those are three Ace Sprite scripts extensions to greatly improve your workflow.